Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a delicious spaghetti bolognese. So let's begin. Okay, so I've got my deep pan here, in which I'll be making the sauce. So I'm going to turn the heat up to number seven and I'm just going to add about three tablespoons of good old olive oil and we'll wait for this to heat up. I've also got here the pot ready for my spaghetti. Once the oil is hot I'll add in my minced meat and I'll just break it up and just gently fry it. Moving it around every five minutes or so until it's all nicely browned off. That's what I want. Okay, so once the meat is all, um, it's sealed, it's not toasted, it's not browned off, just sealed. What I'll do is add. Um, my veg, which is about three cloves of garlic, two carrots, half an onion, a quarter of a red pepper, quarter of a yellow pepper, a quarter of a green pepper, and about three mushrooms, all finely chopped up. Obviously, you can add more of each, or you can add less. That's your choice. I find that this works for me. So I'll mix, give this a good mix. And what I want is for everything to soften up. So I'll leave it here, moving it occasionally every four or five minutes and remember it's on number it's on medium high roughly which is what I'll be cooking it all the way through so let's wait for this right this has been on here for 15 minutes and every four to five minutes I've been stirring it like this just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Well, it doesn't stick more so it doesn't bend, you know, one side. And this is looking good. So now the fun part. I'm going to add in a meat stock cube. You can add a veggie, a veggie one in if you like, if you prefer. I'm going to break this because this one doesn't crumble in. I'm going to add some, can you see that? Yeah, black pepper. Well, black pepper. Red, white, green and black pepper. Doesn't matter if you haven't got this one. Black pepper is fine, even white. Just a couple of grinds or ten. Um, I'm going to add some provincial herbs. Ah, these are too small. Let's do this. Way about half a teaspoon. Also, can't forget this. A nice, generous teaspoon of sweet paprika and oops some salt to my own liking of course I'm the one that's gonna be eating it aren't I and to top it off with a generous glass of vino 
You can use the red one if you haven't got white. And we'll give this a mix. And we'll continue to leave it here on the same heat setting, medium high, for roughly five minutes until the alcohol dissolves. By the way, today is the 24th of February. I know this video doesn't come out the same day. And you know what? My worst nightmare has started flies. The thing is, we're getting some really dodgy temperatures here. Like we've been having 23, 25 degrees all week. Today, it's like it's dropped down to 10 degrees. Next week, we're having 20 odd again. Then it's going down, it's going up, down, like a yo-yo. Well, the flies have appeared already. Got two in my house, which is a bloody nightmare. So I hate them when I'm cooking. Something is really messed up. All the almond trees out, outside, they've all got flowers in them. Beautiful white flowers, pink flowers, and they're not supposed to be flowering until around April. So, it's the weather, isn't it? Okay, let's leave this. Let's stop playing with this. And we'll leave it there for another three to four minutes until the alcohol evaporates. Right, so five minutes are done. And this is smelling better by the minute. Oh yes, beautiful. So the next step will be to play a tune and add my fried tomato. And yes, I'm going to add some water to this and give it some rock and roll and shove it in. Lovely jubbly. So let's move this about. And we shall cover it up and leave it there for 15 minutes. By the way, I'd give it a good stir every five minutes just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom because the tomato sauce tends to do that. So that's the first stair. Righty ho! So the 15 minutes are up. And this is looking and smelling scrumptious. Oh yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the this pot to here which is the water for the spaghetti and I'm just going to turn this up I'm going to whack it up full heat and wait for that to come to a boil oh I'm going to cover this up as well just in case in case that fly gets in and it's my dinner so we'll wait for that to boil and I'll be back. Oh, and what I'll do to keep this warm, I'll just turn it up to number three. So medium low. Okay, so the water's boiling. It's getting steamy here. So let's whack this up. 
and I've got my spaghetti here. Now, my wife likes it snapped. I don't mind because I know how to eat it with a spoon and a fork. So, I think I'll snap it just to make her happy. Way, look at that. All in there. And of course, I'm going to shove in some salt. And we'll wait for that to cook, which 12 minutes roughly. So it'll be al dente. Right, so the spaghetti is done. So I'm going to take the water out using one of these. Okay, so the spaghetti water has been drained. The sauce is ready. So now you've got a few choices. You can either put that into that or that into that. Or you can put the spaghetti onto a plate and then top it up with the mincemeat. How would you do it? Comment below. Well, so here is the result. I hope that you have enjoyed today's recipe video. If you did, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.